So I'm always curious, like, where do the Packers stack up? Like, currently, where do they stack up against our opponents in the NFC North? Where do they stack up against uh, just the NFC as a whole or or the league, right? I'm always curious, always thinking that route. Guys, we're going to take a look at where the Packers stack up currently on defense in the league. But we're also going to have a listen in to what some ESPN analysts had to say about the Green Bay Packers. But not just the Green Bay Packers about what they had, what they are saying about our uh, opponents. Uh, and I, and I love it. So you're going to want to listen in, but before I get into all that guys, take a second to subscribe. Okay. So here's what the Packers are doing. They are starting to instill some doubt, right? They're playing good football and they're instilling some doubt, not just within our opponents organizations, but within our opponents fan base. And I find it absolutely humorous. So let's take a listen. What ESPN analysts on first take had to say about the Detroit Lions post the game of the Green Bay Packers. Dan, tell me this. you feel like this was just a bad game, or is this a bad sign? It's a bad sign. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So first of all, Detroit's – the thing that has made Detroit who have they been over the last almost 20 games is their offensive line has physically dominated games. Mm -hmm. I think this is the first time this year their offensive line got dominated. Green Bay's defensive line got after Detroit's offensive line. So that has to be – a little bit concerning for Detroit. Number two, second straight game, Jared Goff has played poorly. Now, led him to a great mm-hmm. comeback against Chicago, but he's played poorly. And so, not getting protected, he's being careless with the football. Absolutely love it. I, I love it because he's like, man, you know, this is the first time a team has has really taken it to the Detroit line. I mean, this has been a strong suit for the Lions. This has been a lot of the reasons why they've been so successful this season. Is because of their offensive line. They've been so stout. They've opened up the run game. Um, they've given Jared Goff a whole lot of time back there to be able to pick apart defenses. And they've got stellar wideouts that can get open. Um, and 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 an amazing uh, tight end in Laporta. So, but the Packers, they absolutely dominated. As he was saying, they dominated this Detroit line strong suit, right? Their offensive line. They got through. They put pressure on Jared Goff. And we all saw how, J- how did Jared Goff um, you know, how did he respond to that pressure? Not so great. Another three turnover performance. That's two games in a row for, for Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions. Six turnovers in two games. Um, let's give it to Rashawn Gary, man. Rashawn Gary, um, coming back from that injury, he's such a leader. And that he's he proved that the money is super worth it. Okay, so what did they have to say now about the Green Bay Packers and their performance? Let's take a listen. Stephen, to your point with Green Bay, if Green Bay continues to play that league, I, I said this before, how many other teams are doing this and quarterbacks are doing this right now? Mm-hmm. Like they, they are one of the handful of teams that are doing this comparison to who they were. If he continues to play that way and they continue to play that way, they're going to get into the playoffs. And- love it. Absolutely love it. You know, when he's saying he's like, how many teams and quarterbacks are doing that? How many coaches are going like this, right? So – I was one of the people that was like starting to think, okay, is Matt LaFleur the dude? I I don't know. I'm not seeing it. He does not look like the guy. He looks super conservative. We're putting goose eggs up in the first half, but take a step back, take a breather a second. And and let's talk through this a second. Here's the thing. Um, Matt LaFleur was protecting Jordan Love. He was trying to um, establish confidence in him, establish um, just some overall um, uh, really what it boils down to is confidence so that he could open up the playbook for Jaden Reed, that he could open up the playbook to get the ball out to Christian Watson. Thankfully, Christian Watson showed up. But anyways, let's take a look at defensively. Okay, so where did they stack up? Um, If you remember, four games ago is when I really thought that the Packers started to click. I really thought that they started to start trending in the right direction overall as a team, as a unit, and defensively. So let's take a look at where the Packers stacked up on defense. So third down efficiency for the Rams in that game, they were 5 of 14, well below 50%. Fourth down efficiency, 0%, right? 0 for 2. They allowed uh, just a sack, one sack, but two turnovers, right? The Packers were able to get two turnovers in that game. Let's take a look at the next game versus the Steelers. Against the Steelers, third down efficiency, four of 13, well below 50%. Again, fourth down, one for one. Uh, They allowed only one. They only gave up one sack for the Packers and uh, no turnovers. But 
they only allowed 23 points. Okay. So keep, keep that in mind. Okay. So keep that number in mind. Chargers two games ago, chargers third down efficiency, seven to 14, 50% over two on fourth downs, right? Uh, two sacks allowed one forced fumble. So one turnover against the lines on Thanksgiving third down efficiency, seven to four, seven to 15. So one below 50%. Fourth down efficiency, one for five. That's huge right there. One for five. Let's not forget, you know, that 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 uh, fake punt. It was awesome. Three sacks all by Rashawn Gary. Uh, just a lot of pressure, though, by the defensive front in the backfield. Three turnovers, right? That's huge. So where did they stack up overall in the league? Let's take a look. Pass defense, Packers strong suit. They rank, they're, they're, they rank 10th right there. Um, not bad at all, right? Deep rushing defense. We all know that the Packers now keep in mind, this is overall for the whole year. The Packers are 29th, but they've gotten much better. They really have. They started out really good against Chicago and then they just fell flat. They were terrible. Um, they have improved, um, on the rush defense scoring. And so this is huge, right? They haven't been allowing a whole lot of, a lot of points, right? They they're tied for 10th in the league for scoring defense. And then lastly, let's take a look at the red zone defense Packers. Um, currently, uh, where are they at? They're 10th in the red zone. So that's another huge number, right? 10th in the red zone. Guys, overall, the Green Bay Packers, they're dramatically improving. But I love it that they are creating doubt, not within, you know, just the fan bases out there, but within their own organization. And I live in Michigan, so I hear a lot of Detroit stuff. And I know that there is a lot of chirping going on, even within the organization about Jared Goff, about, um, you know, just benching some guys on the offensive line. All of that stuff, guys, super amazing stuff. Super encouraged. Guys, leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think. Packers, play up bound, baby. Go Pack.